Good morning, everyone. This is Wandering Scott, and it's time for uh, another quick update on the Gypsy Caravan project. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you real quick the uh, solar panels. I've just got them mounted. Um, I don't have them wired up yet, but I've got them mounted up on the uh, caravan. I'm going to show you uh, how that's done. They p pivot, uh, and because it's a curved roof, it was a little bit of a project getting those all mounted on. But let me uh, show you how they work. Okay, so there it is. That's our little gypsy caravan wagon with six solar panels now affixed. And um, they all pivot, like I said, they all move. So I'll show you how those work in a sec. They're uh, 240 watts each, and there's six of them, four on the top, one on the front, and then one on the back. So that's 1440 watts at peak power output. Um, and they're about, what, three feet by four feet, something like that. They're pretty big. They weigh about 20 pounds each. They're made by New Power. And um, I'll show you how they work. So uh, these spot front, the side ones, the front and the back ones, uh, just go up and down. They lock into place. The ones on the top are on uh, Renogy A-frame adjustable, so they go like, you know, you can move those up and down that way. Um, and I'll show you how those work in just a sec, but let me... Well, before I even do that, let me just show you real quick. I got a couple other updates, I guess. I've got some tail lights. I got my tail light, my trailer lighting all hooked up, so those are on. I got the license plate uh, on there. And um, on each corner <clears throat> down here, let me get my shadow out of the way there. Um, I've got these tie down clamps on here. Let me get around this way so you can see better. It's early morning. Um, yeah, so I've added these little tie down clamps, so these just move up. Um, and lock down. I've got a little cotter pin back here. You just pull that down Hook that into the little hook there and put the cotter pin through so it can't come undone This is adjustable it's a screw so you can tighten it or loosen it depending on how tight you want it I think that's about right there and these aren't probably even really necessary because I've got the actuators in there that have you know gears and they're you know They're locked pretty tight, but just you know for extra safety and to keep it from you know, any adding any extra uh, you know, undue stress on the actuator gears as they're bumping down the road. This will just tie it down, uh, you know, tighter and and uh, <clears throat> prevent any any movement. Um, and I've got one, so one of those on each corner, of course. So um, and you can just lift up like that, and it's ready to go. And then down here, of course, I got my sewer hose uh, holder screwed down under there. And so there's another of uh, the locks and then i've got uh this here is the the light that came with the trailer as as the tail lights did but this one is a new one that i bought because it this this didn't really fit down under here so i put this on the top section and it'll just function as a reflector i don't it does have a light in it but i haven't bothered to hook it up uh the wiring on that would be a little dodgy um just because of the trailer going up and down the wiring is going to be a bit of a trick anyway and i'll show you how that's going to work later uh, if it works <laughs> we'll see the jury's still out on that but anyway this is all wired up so that's now my new side running light up there so i'm all legal uh and then um on the front um this solar panel here like i say these come up and uh move up and down this one because of the uh propane tanks there you've got to put the top up at least five inches before this will clear uh, which is fine um, but this again this was a reason why if anybody's watched some of the earlier videos on when i was laying out the floor plan i had to leave that extra gap here between the wall and the propane tanks where i mounted the tanks and that's the reason because i knew that solar panel was going to need to come down between there a little bit so that's why that extra space is there and uh that's my right down there that's my shower pan that comes out of there and i'm gonna stick it out there under by my outdoor shower and i got a nice little bamboo mat that goes in there so okay uh let's but let's I'll get back to my solar panels here so okay let's go to the sunny side over here uh it's uh early october now mid-october i guess um and the sun is in the still in the south so you know if i pull into a campground i've got these panels on an angle um, so I'm going to want to be able to rotate them so I can get the most solar uh, efficiency out of them. And of course, the, this one just goes up and down. So I'll show you how that works. I've got these little latches on here. These are just RV baggage door latches um, that are meant to hold doors open, but they're spring loaded. So if you just push down on that. It will loosen, let that go. And then we got another one over here. Just loosen that. And then this whole thing will just rotate up. 
and it locks in place. And so let me back off so you can see it uh, with that up. So now with the panel up, it acts as an awning and of course catches more sun that way. And it's, uh, it's um, mounted by, so these, these brackets here, these are just, you know, standard. You, I got these on Amazon in a bunch of different places make them. Um, they're designed for like a fold down shelf or a workbench, a table, something like that. You know, in your garage, you can just have an extra work table. You can just put it fold down out of the way. Um, they say that they're rated to hold 200 pounds each, so 400 pounds, but the panel itself, of course, only weighs 20 pounds, so, you know, not a lot of stress on that. It does overhang, you know, some, but, um, and it's, it's, it's anchored in with three anchor and toggle bolts on a piece I've glued, uh, used Loctite construction adhesive to put a piece of, uh, that red oak, heavy red oak on there, and then use toggle bolts, um, and anchor bolts to to anchor those in so it's it's on there really good um and then again these are those little um, baggage latch things here that they're spring loaded and you know like i say they're designed for an rv to hold a door open but they work just as well to hold something closed and they're you know they're made out of like a cast aluminum or something like that steel or whatever um okay so then how this goes down is just has this little latch right here so you just sort of push up on that and then you know other side also unlock that and then it will just drop down on those okay so then you just go under here and pull out the little latch and lock it in and then same on the other side over here just pull that down and push in so it locks and then that's that's now locked in there so it can't move around you know too much while it's bouncing down the road and you know tear the whole thing off um tear up my wall or anything like that okay so that's the that's the front and back ones now the the top ones were a little more of a challenge because the roof obviously is curved and so i made these uh what i did is i okay i'll just show you what these are first actually i'll go around them. Uh, this one over here so this one's locked in uh it comes with these um knobs with wing nuts in it and there's two front and back and then there's another one that there's a, a third bar there that holds it open and that's a little confusing but i'll show you what i mean by that this one i've got loose already so um i can put it up so i'll just show you if you can see here you just lift up on this and those legs will just drop down there like that and then over here you can just sort of move them down to wherever you want them. It's hard to do with one hand, sorry. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, so, uh, and these have holes. You know, there's holes all up and down this, both of these. And then these bars here, if you can see, these have little holes in them too. So you can put those in and fix those in at any point to get any sort of angle on the... Uh, on the panel that you want. I mean, it'll just move up and down and then um, it comes, like I said, so it comes with these uh, these knobs with the wing nut and those are a little bit of a pain, I have to say. Um, so I went and got, this is just a test, I went and got some of these, uh, what are these things, ring, what do they call those? Like, I don't know what they call those, R ring pins or something like that. Anyway, so y you can just push those through and they've got that little ball on it and again i don't know if i can do this with one hand but um and then just you know put that through yeah one hand doesn't work so well but anyway i'll have to use my other okay that's really bad camera work but you know you get the point anyway so this th the problem with this ring pin is it's too long so it doesn't hold it up um i could probably pull it out some but um i need to find some that are shorter that that don't you know they don't go like that so yeah i don't want that to happen so i'll have to work that out but um anyway they come with those uh now, I think I got one in my pocket here, maybe. Um, <clears throat> these. They're, uh, you know, they're just, you know, screw nuts, whatever, screws with a knob on them, and then a wing that, and you can just put them in, you know, kind of wherever you want. So, you know, at whatever angle you want, um, then you can just, in theory, stick that through the hole like that and then put your wing nut on there and it'll hold it in place you don't even really need to have it i mean like you can see it, it's just it's holding up there it's not gonna go anywhere um but just if you wanted at a weird angle you know somewhere else um you know like you could do this clear up to a 90 degree angle 
um, just depending on where you put those um, not knob screws through there. But anyway, so you can see now um, that these are both facing south. Um, so, you know, if I'm, I'm camped in a, you know, spot, you know, oriented east west, then, you know, it's, I'm in the northern hemisphere and it's summer, the, the sun's going to be that way. So I just do that. If I'm, you know, in a campground where I'm having to orient uh, north south, it's going to be a little more dodgy because, like, in the morning I would want them facing west and in the afternoon I'd want them facing east. So I might have to move a little more. And that's why I thought those ring pins would be easier just to make it uh, easier to move them. But anyway, as it is, they, um, they work pretty well. Um, I think, you know, I'm the type of camper that I just stay usually a couple of weeks. Uh, max stay is usually 14 days in a campground. I usually just pull into the campground, set up base camp, and then wander around from there. So I just set up my solar panels facing whatever south and then uh, leave them. Um, but anyway, that's how the panel mounts work for those. Now, as far as how I have the panel mounted to the trailer, um, you can see here I've got, hopefully you can see that, um, because it's curved. Uh, it hits, you know, the the um, my beam, my wall in the center. So I've got, um, well, I don't over there, but I do over here. On each end, I've got a screw in the center, a, a bolt, a heavy duty bolt going down in the middle. And then I've just cut these angle um, support, um, wedge pieces that fit in there to create a, a flat surface where the other bolts go through. And these are like, these ones are two inch bolts and these ones are like two and a half or three inch bolts, something like that, that go down through into the, into the beam. This of course is a supporting wall. So no problem there. I, you know, put, as you can see, I've got some of that, you know, seal, construction adhesive seal in there. And then I put another one in where the screw is or the, the, the bolt is. Um, but on the inside, of course, um, they don't match up, you know, where my, where my center beam is um so and of course there's no retaining wall under that so i what i did is i created these i made these just on the bottom i created a piece that spans from you know they, they each the top and the bottom one each hit the center beam and they're bolted in there and then the bottom one spans from the next two beams and is bolted in to that beam and then the top one I span the next one over so it goes clear over to the next beam and that way that um, spreads out the dis 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 distri distributes yeah that's the word distributes the um, weight of the panels over all of the beams um, instead of having them all just on a single one um, because this one doesn't even have a beam under it, um, it a top one it's got a bottom beam obviously but this one does and the other one does so anyway that's how i mounted those on there and then of course those brackets are just screwed in uh, to that and i cut i cut a slot in this beam going this way and then these have slots going up and down so this is adjustable so i can get my panels aligned correctly so they'll go you know up and down and, and seat right um so that's how I got those affixed up there, and they're in there pretty sturdy. They're not going to go anywhere. I mean, they don't, they don't move at all. The whole trailer will move if you if you shake it. So um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna that's gonna hold sufficiently. Um, and so I think that's pretty much all there really is to that. It wasn't um, that hard. It just took me a little while to sort of work out the kind of most efficient way uh, to get those up there. Um, and have them be adjustable, which is what I wanted. I want them to be able to move up and down. So um, that's how that works. Um, and so the next thing I need to do is just obviously wire these in. Um, all these these cables all are going to run up down the center and go in. I've got a, 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 a block thing, whatever, that goes right here. And I'll put, put, put a hole through into the inside cabinet. And all those go in with, they've got fittings that all those cables plug into it's like a distribution block and then that'll bring it all into my cabinet uh, up the top and then i've got that curly cord that it's going to go down into the bottom section so that is what's up next um, but that is pretty much how that works um i don't know as i particularly need to show you the trailer up but um make sure all my i didn't lock down any of my clamps here now I'll put the trailer up for, yeah, we're good. Um, 
I'll show you how these <clears throat> panels look when their trailer is up. Uh, let's make sure everything is undone. And then I'm just going to put this. I'll just hit the button in there. And the trailer will go up. And so we can, you know, now that this is going up over the over the panels here. Let me see if I can, again, do this with one hand. There we go. Put that up. And, yeah, before it gets up too high, I'll put this one back up. Yeah, okay. All right, so... Uh, you definitely have to do this when the top is down because it uh, gets really tall up there, obviously. Um, unless you have a step ladder, but that's that's what it looks like when the yeah when the trailer's going up. So let me get out here in the field and see if I can give you a better view uh, from back here. Kind of lose the nice sort of curved roof effect with the solar panels on there but that's all right i get uh, free electricity out of it and that's the whole point it's more of an efficiency thing than anything so yeah so there we go there's yeah that's the whole thing it's uh it's pretty tall i mean i can't even you know i can't reach them now at all i mean it's, they're way up there so i definitely would have to uh, drop the top down to be able to get to those to adjust them that's another issue if you want to just adjust them like you know morning and afternoon you have to put the top down to be able to adjust them but otherwise they work fine um and i you know hopefully i won't even have to really do that like i say if you just park facing uh east west then you just orient your panels toward the sun and you're good so uh, anyway that's where i'm at right now and next up i'll do a bunch of whole bunch of wiring and plumbing and that kind of stuff so Anyway, I just wanted to let you know where I am right now. So that's the size of it. Hopefully uh, that was interesting or helpful. And uh, next time I'll talk about the uh, infrastructure. So take care.